Okay, we're hey. back. Welcome My to... voice broke. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Blue Jays. So, um, like you can be, you can play bad. Right, you don't right, stand right, still. All right, all right. <laughs> what? Well, as I said last episode, uh, I'm gonna begin begin uh, talking about my life as Ben is uh, grinding away on the sharks here. You'll um, see him here soon. Oh, <laughs> also in between episodes, this is this is one of the sharks. He won't come after you, so you just fight him. Those two will. Um, in between episodes, we went to the uh, the drugstore because Ben really wanted to listen to the music, and he bought uh, a T-ball bat, so we don't have crack bat no more. Oh wait, we did equip it. We're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah, we did equip it. Go for it. No. Okay, you're good. You can do it. I believe in you. So anyway, where do I begin? Let's see. Um. So okay, so I have a younger brother and a younger sister. Okay, <laughs> sorry we had a little cut there. Um, so anyway, back to what I was saying. So yeah, so I have a younger brother and a younger sister, and uh, the my parents uh, they never got married, and they they split uh, when I was pretty young, um, and so I don't really have too many memories um, way back then. Uh, and I was too young for it to really make a huge impression on me, so I wasn't like super upset that my parents were split because I didn't really understand fully what was going on. It was I was just growing up, little kid. Oh, nice! Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times. You gotta kill the hula hoop guy first because I'm pretty sure he's the one that calls for help. Really? I thought they all called for help. Or, I, no I don't know. What. Maybe, maybe I, I was going after trying to get the skate dude first because what was... I remember correctly did the most damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch. It looks like you got your head ha handed to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, how, how about giving it giving it another shot? Is that even a question? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch decided to return after summoning all of the courage and energy he had. Good luck. It's ironic because we're a bitch. <laughs> okay. So, um, so I, I bounce back and forth between my mom and my dad, living with each one of them. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, sorry to interrupt, just take a minute to appreciate this song. Uh, ben loves the drugstore music. It's the best. Alright, um, we're good. Continue. And whenever I finally gave, got into, like, school, um, <laughs> funny story, just, uh, I believe I was in first grade. Um, we were doing, like, an art and craft segment, and, um, I, <laughs> I had a pair of scissors, I took, I literally took one strand of hair, and I, I was like, I, I bumped the kid next to me, I was like, hey look, I'm gonna cut my hair, and I cut this one strand of hair, I'm not even being like over exaggerating or exaggerating or trying to like make myself like not guilty, I just cut one, and this kid like, he raised his hand, and he's like, Billy cut his hair, and of course the hair is both like plural and, and singular, so of course the teacher thought like I cut more than I actually did, and I'm trying to defend myself like, no, it was only one, and then the teacher called my mom, my mom came in, and like was yelling at me, and I'm like, everyone is making a big deal out of this, <laughs> I was like five, <laughs> wow, <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, so I, if I remember correctly, I, I lived with my mom a lot, um, for a majority of my younger years, and my mom couldn't really, um, if I'm getting my facts straight, like I said, I was, um, everything's pretty much a blur. For me, uh, uh, my childhood was a bit of a blur, because, like, uh, things happened real fast. We moved around a lot, um, and because of that, I changed schools a lot, and... Because of that, um, I, I became really, really shy and, like, introverted because I was always worried, like, what's the point of, like, making friends if I'm just, we're just gonna move again and we're not gonna be able to see them again. Yeah. So I, I just became really, really shy. I usually we made, like, one friend and he was usually, like, the weirdest kid in school. That way I wouldn't feel bad when I didn't have to see him no more because he was weird. I didn't really fully like him. I was a bit of an ass. But, um... Yeah, it really sucked though because like um, the whole moving around really set me on the path of just like not. Oh my god, Ben! <laughs> I, I, I we had thir I had thirteen health. I went for it thinking I could kill him, and he oh, no, I had twelve, <laughs> and he did thirteen damage to me. Yeah, oh my god, terrific! Just gotta keep trying. We'll get it eventually, even if we have to do some uh, recording off camera. 
Which timer am I looking at? Okay. I'd go that one's total. Okay, just um, we have like two timers going. I was wondering which one was the ten minute marker. Anyway, uh, and uh, let's see, where do I go from there? Mm, after a while, we we moved in with our dad because he's more financially financially stable, um, and could hold down a house, and um, we. I guess there's no point in um, saying the names of our schools. Yeah. But we moved into the this one school uh, where um, my cousins on my dad's side of the family, they were also went to that school and they were my age. Like, my one cousin was in my grade. And um, so I got to see my cousin more and I was super happy because me and my cousin, we had a lot in common. Um, and we still do. I love hanging out with my cousin. Cousins. Um... And I stayed there for two years, and then we moved yet again to the school where I finally graduated, which, but I was in seventh grade, so I didn't know. I, I was like, oh, we moved again. I'm probably still, we're probably going to move again. So even in seventh grade, like, I didn't want to make friends. I made uh, two friends. One of them was a kind of cool kid, but I didn't really talk to him as much. And the other one was um, a really weird kid. Um... And, uh, holy crap, run. <laughs> I knew he was Damn gonna it. come. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so I, I began hanging out with this weird kid a lot. I even went over his house a lot, and we played video games, and that was, um, the first time I played Resident Evil 5, even, the, even though the game has been out for, like, two years prior to when I played it, um, for the first time. It was cool. We hung out a lot. He, he was a pretty good friend. Like, he wasn't... Like, he was really weird, but he wasn't, like, unbearably weird. Like, he didn't annoy me and throw me off. <laughs> you can talk bad if you ever want to, because I feel like you're not, like, even in this episode. I know. Hey, this is all about you, man. Yeah, that's true. Title of this episode, Billy's episode. Okay. That's, that's cool. That's a good episode. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Oh my god! You just annihilated him. You get you did a critical hit, sixty damage. That's at sixty damage. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, it wasn't until freshman year. Um, all right, level up. Things are going great now. Nice. We're finally making progress. 13. Another thirteen health, dude. We are ripped. Wait, how much did our PP go up? By five. Five. <laughs> Um, your PP went up. So, <laughs> uh, where was I? Okay, so yeah, it wasn't until freshman year that I actually started making friends. And that was actually because, uh, me and that, still that weird friend, um, we were, uh, talking, we were talking about Smosh's food battles. Because, uh, we were huge on those. What did no, you do that Another time? Smash, another 60. Nice. Damn. We were talking about Smosh's food battles because we were huge into those at the time. And, uh... We... I guess we were talking and laughing a bit too loud because another kid who was in the same class... Gee, he just jumped in on our conversation. He was like, oh, hey, like, what are you guys laughing about? And I just reverted to my really shy kid. And I was just like, oh, we're talking about this video. <laughs> and, like, I was really shy. Like, I didn't want to be talking to this kid. And, um, so I told him about the video, uh, <laughs> oh, damn. and, um, he was like, okay, sure, yeah, like, I'll check it out whenever I get home, and I was like, okay, sure, he comes back the next day, and he's like, oh, that was so funny, like, it was great, and, and I was like, okay, like, if you found that funny, I gave him, I recommended a few other videos that I've seen, such as ASDEF by Tomska, and other, other funny stuff that I've seen at that time, and he went home, and... He came back the next day once again. He was like, oh, that was funny too. And then, like, I'm like, huh, like, I'm, like, building a friendship with this kid. And I started, we started talking more. Like, okay, like, what games do you like? What what stuff do you like? And, like, we found out we had a lot in common. Like, a lot, a lot. You know what? Um, I kind of want this to be a 15-minute episode. Do you? Hey, I'm okay you, with me. Are you good for it? Because I know you're just grinding right now. Yeah. Why, why are you here? Uh, can't you get the map here? No, you get it at the library. Oh. Um, and, uh, yeah, but the, the thing was, the, the thing is, is that this kid was, he was a popular kid, okay? And, um, so it was a completely new step for me to, like, go from these weird kids, and I was a weird kid. No joke, my hair, freshman year, 8th grade year, and 7th grade, 
was like down the middle of my back. I had long ass hair. Oh my and, like, god. And like, I just didn't give a shit because I, I had the mentality of, I don't care what people think of me. Yeah. Which was, I mean, that's a great way to be thinking, but like, I really didn't take care of myself at all. Like, I showered like every other day at the most. Sometimes I went three or four days without showering. Uh, I mean, oh my god, I was such a weird kid. I even acted weird. Like, my attitude and everything was just... I was weird. (laughs) Definitely through and through. But this kid was popular as shit. Like, he even told me how to wear my shoes differently. (laughs) And I was like, what? And so, yeah, so I started hanging out with this kid more and more. And, um... Uh, hey, if you're listening, friend, I'm not gonna say names because I, I don't know, uh, animosity or whatever that word is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But if you recognize who I, if I'm, I'm talking about you, I love you, man. Uh, you really turned my life around. Yeah. So he, he taught me how to be popular. He introduced me to his friend group, and it was a bunch of more nice guys and, um, and girls. And like, I slowly, very, very, very slowly, began to like break out of my shell and become. A more normal human being. Not so much popular, not so much weird. <laughs> but average. Average, there yeah. You go. <laughs> and, um. But after a year and a half, he had to move out of state. And it was. It was pretty depressing for me because, like, he was one of my closest friends. But, like, he set me down the path where, like, he introduced me to new friends and he helped me out a lot. And I, like, I thank him so much for that. Um. So yeah, um, not too much else to say about that. Uh, I remember, I remember just a small story in, in, in between here. Um, uh, cause he, he actually moved up here to Pennsylvania, um, prior. Um, I don't remember what year he did or what grade he was in when he moved. But, um, so, um, when it snowed, it was like one of the first times he's seen snow. So like we hung out we played in the snow a lot but like I, one day I, one day I, w- I went over and slipped over his house and um we went outside and um had a snowball fight but i didn't bring um like winter like clothes like i had my jacket on but like nothing else so we went outside and had a snowball fight and i made like a, a half half an igloo as like a my defense fortress um, so when they would sn- throw snowballs at me, it would hit the wall. And then, like, the reason why I made it a half igloo was because that way I can, like, curl up inside of it and, like, be protected from many different sides. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, that was a fun time. And I remember we froze. Oh, my God. I don't, I, sorry for, apo- or I apologize for swearing, but we, we froze our asses off. Like, it was hilarious um i remember we were so cold that we went into his basement and took off our pants because it was warmer in his basement and we threw our pants in the dryer and we sat we sat in the basement just waiting for our pants to dry and we just chat we just talked (laughs) and um (laughs) because that was warmer um that's some bonding time too sitting around pantsless talking yeah (laughs) yeah um, I think he did give me something to wear until our pants did dry. I don't remember 100%, but yeah, I do remember taking our pants off. That was funny. Anyway, so, um, okay, so here's where, um, see, so you got, you got, you got the main gist of, uh, my life. Um, so here's where things go a little wonky, because I swear, um, and I'm gonna have to, like, pause my story sometime soon, because we're getting close to the 15 minute mark. Uh, but, um, I'm sure... Everybody has like their downs in their lives, but like mine was a pretty big down. I, I, I don't know how um, How really hard it hit my brother and sister, but I have uh, mad really bad anxiety um, And I never like I never had a doctor or no one to ever tell me this so I never realized it and I never realized it in school because school was just easy, you know like you Pause. No, we're not pausing? 15 seconds. Okay. So. Well, I'm still going to talk a little bit. Um, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you, know you talk. You keep talking, Billy. Okay. Ben's leaving the room. I'll be back. I'm just going <laughs> to keep talking. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so school was easy for me because, like, 
I, um, like, they give you homework, I go home and do my homework. I mean, like, I didn't, I wasn't a straight-A student, but I got good grades. I tried to get good grades, and, um, oh, crap, I was not paying attention to health. Oh, no, oh, I'm gonna die. This is not good. Things are not looking good. This is why I'm not playing the game. Oh, my God, he missed. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I need to wrap this up, but, um, yeah, school was easy for me because, like, I just, I always did what I was told. I had projects, I did my projects, I got homework, I did my homework, and, like, school was really easy for me, and I never realized I had anxiety, um, and, so, yeah, so, that's where I'm gonna leave off my story. I'm gonna continue next, next episode, um, and, yeah, I, 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 I really, I, I think I'll really enjoy explaining to you guys everything and seeing, or telling you how, how I felt and blah blah blah. So yeah, so <laughs> Ben's on the phone, so I'm sorry he can't say goodbye. But we hope you have a wonderful day as always. And we'll see you tomorrow with another episode. Goodbye!